Homelessness, a problem that affects all aspects of society. In Santa Barbara, the issues surrounding homelessness ripple into our community's ability to provide not only basic services to those most in need, but also to the community at large. Typically what we find are people that are homeless are trapped in a reoccurring state of either mental illness and or drug dependency. And we get called when they're involved in some nuisance related problem uh, resulting in negative police contact. The more services can be delivered to the homeless in an efficient and cost effective manner, the more time is freed up for better service to the entire community. 10% of the people we deal with are 90% of the problem. They draw the biggest um, draw on our community. Uh, they take up ambulance services, they take up first responder services, they take up beds at jail that need to be made for you know, other types of crimes. So when we can address these people, it, it does have a, a significant positive effect on services for the community. The police department establishes personal contact with these people with the goal of breaking the cycle of addiction, citation, and incarceration. None of these people really prefer to be living like that. There are just so many things that have gone wrong along the way, so many missteps, so many wrong turns, that it's difficult for them to unravel it. Through Santa Barbara's restorative policing efforts, the police department, court system, health care system, and social service agencies collaborate to get individuals off the streets. Despite these successes, police officers and social service providers can only do so much. Without continued support and encouragement, people can fall back into their old patterns. In the beginning, we have a very intense, customized process. When we step them and give them to the next agencies, support agencies and so forth, unfortunately, a lot of times, they don't get what they need from them and they fall back to us. Aggressive panhandling, public intoxication, and other nuisance-related crimes by homeless people have a significant impact on our local businesses. We've definitely experienced an economic impact, especially at our Milfus store. Around seven years ago, our Milfus store started to trend flat and then started trending down. And we definitely can correlate that trend down to the increase in the homeless activity that occurs on our property. Last year, over 500 concerned citizens canvassed the streets and surveyed the homeless. We treat them like people, getting to know them. Uh, it's not just an interview, it's a conversation. A lot of the people just really appreciated someone to talk to uh, instead of being looked over, being passed. I hope we break down the stereotypes. I hope we, we see them as humans and that we see their needs as they're able to be met. Each one is an individual. And they all require a very customized bear hug around them to help them navigate through that system that has repeatedly turned the doors on them and that's the objective of the program.